Yes, good. Okay, we'll do the sixth one. Sixth is sixth one is the last sum of this exercise. Okay, so in this figure, angle P is congruent to angle R. So angle P is here, this one, and no, angle R not. is here, this one. Okay, angle P is congruent to angle R. Segment PQ, that means this, is congruent to segment RQ, that is this. So this segment is congruent to this segment. You have to prove that angle PQT, okay, PQT means this one. And you have to prove that RQS. So RQS is this one. You have to prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. Okay. Question clear? Yes, sir. So in triangle P, Q, T and triangle R, Q, S, Okay, in this two triangle, firstly, you can see angle P congruent to angle R, and this is given. Okay, then after that, what is given? Segment PQ is congruent to segment RQ. This is also given to you. these two are given now next what can you see congruent in both the triangle any side or any angle that you can see congruent QPP and QPP and that, 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 that we have written that we have written here already that is given QPT is this and QRS is this that is given Can you see something that is common in both the triangles? There is one thing which is common. Angle Q. Yes, yes, angle Q. So angle Q is congruent to angle Q, it means it's congruent to itself because it is a common angle. So now this is congruent to itself. So here you have proved angle, here you have proved the side, here again you have proved angle. And if you look at the figure, the side is between the two angles. So these two triangles are congruent by which test? Yes, by which test? Angle side angle. ASA test, correct. Also, when you're using ASA test, make sure that the side is between the two congruent angles. So if you clearly look at the figure, 
this is a congruent angle this is a congruent angle similarly this and this and the side is between the two angles that is why we can confirm confidently we can confirmly say that it is a asa test clear write it down go through it and write it down Okay, I'll just tell you about this theorem. We'll do this theorem and the converse in short, and then we'll stop. Okay, this is called as an isosceles triangle theorem. You know what is an isosceles triangle? No? What is an isosceles triangle? Where two sides are congruent. Yes, a triangle in which only two sides are congruent to each other. That triangle is called as an isosceles triangle. Now, what this theorem says, read, listen to the statement carefully. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, that means they are talking about isosceles triangle, then the angles which are opposite to them are also congruent. Now, this is very, very important, what this theorem says. I'll explain it to you with the help of the figure. So suppose if this is an isosceles triangle, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Okay, so this is A, B, 
C. Isosceles triangle, that means side AB is congruent to side AC. This theorem says that in an isosceles triangle where two sides are congruent to each other, the angles which are opposite to the sides, okay, angles which are opposite to the sides. Now, for example, if you look at side AB, which angle is opposite to it? AC. Angle, angle. Angle. C. 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 And now, if you look at side AC, which angle is opposite to it? Angle B. Angle B. So this theorem says that angle which is opposite to the congruent sides are congruent to each other. That means angle B will be congruent to angle C. Do you understand this theorem, what it says? Yes, sir. So in an isosceles triangle, if two sides, when two sides are congruent to each other, that means isosceles triangle, then the angles which are opposite to the congruent sides are also congruent to each other. Okay, so we'll see the proof. The proof is very simple. It uses the concept of congruency. So if you see, first what is done is uh, a perpendicular is drawn. Okay, first you see this a perpendicular draw AD is drawn. Sorry, bisector. Angle bisector is drawn for angle A. So this AD is an angle bisector. Now, because of this angle bisector, your triangle is divided into two parts. The first is triangle AB, ABD, and ACD. Okay, now in these two triangles, firstly, this side AB is congruent to side AC because isosceles and it is given. AD is a common side. Fine. And angle BAC, that is this one, and angle CAD, that is this one, both of them will be congruent to each other. Why? Because AD is an angle bisector. So first, this is the side AB congruent to side AB. Then is an angle. Okay, angle BAD, that is this angle, and ang this angle will be congruent to each other because since it is written by construction, but construction says it is an angle bisector. Because it is an angle bisector, they will be equal to each other. And lastly, if you see AD is common side for both the triangles. <coughs> okay. So AD congruent to itself. So we can now say that these two triangles are congruent to each other by which test? By which test? Hypotenuse uh, 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 uh. There's no right no. angle here. Look at this, no? SAS. SAS test. Did you understand this up to here, what I'm saying, whatever I said? What's the same? Hmm? What did you say? I didn't do? Um, I'm saying, did you understand this, right? Whatever we did here? What? Yes, I understood that. Okay. Now, since these two triangles are congruent to each other, and as I said, congruent triangles have uh, corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent to each other. And corresponding angles are also congruent. So, ABD will be congruent to this side, that is ACB. And also, ABD is nothing but just so, different. So, yeah. So angle ABD should be congruent to angle ACD. ACD, yeah, ACD. ACD. This will be angle ACD. Okay, and then after that, the names are just changed. ABD is nothing but ABC. And similarly, ACD is nothing but ACB. And this is the proof of showing that these angles, which are opposite to the congruent sides, are also congruent to each other. Did you understand this? 
Yes, sir. Go through the sum and complete the boxes right in your textbook itself with the pencil you write. Done, sir. I'll explain the converse and this you boxes you do it for homework. Converse, what it says that if the in an isosceles triangle, sorry, not isosceles triangle, in a in a triangle, okay, in a triangle, if two angles are congruent, okay, in a triangle, if two angles are congruent to each other, then the sides opposite to the congruent angles are also congruent. So if you see angle, if angle Q is congruent to angle R, can you tell me which is the side opposite to angle Q? PR. PR. And can you tell me which is the side opposite to angle R? PQ. PQ. So if the two angles are congruent to each other, then the side opposite to them are also congruent. And after that, you can say that this is an isosceles triangle. Clear the converse, what the converse says? Yes, sir. Okay. So I want you to complete this box for homework, this converse. And in the next class, we'll do this two theorems, uh, two properties, 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 45, 45, 90. These two theorem, uh, properties we'll do in the next class. Okay. We'll stop here. The next class tomorrow, Friday, Friday evening only. Friday evening. Okay. Okay. okay bye.